Hi friends, I am a Dr. Anand Patel, a GI surgeon. I currently work at Anand Hospital at Tisa. This is my OR setup and through this video I will share you what is the importance of cleaning and sterility of laparoscopic instruments. As we know that in this today's era, the laparoscopy has become very common surgery. As the laparoscopy has advanced, it has come with its own risk like wound infections, uh, mass infections. All this has a uh, implication on instrument cleaning. So I would show you how we manage our OT instrument, particularly a, a lab instrument. Once the laparoscopy surgery is over, we take our all laparoscopic instrument and dismantle them. And we put them in a clean RO water, which is submerged in water. As we know that once we keep the instrument for a longer time outside without soaking in the water, the blood over the instrument get dry and then it is very difficult to clean it up. So the recommendation is that as soon as your laparoscopic surgery is over, try to take out the instrument fast and dismantle them and put them in the water. As we can see over here, usually we keep it around 30 minutes until the time is available for the cleaning. So now there are the two things we should remember. One is mechanical cleaning that we can usually use a brush or toothbrush or a simple brush to clean it up but it has its own limitations certain long and telescopic instrument we cannot clean with a just simple brush in those cases we require something good instrument like a mechanical instrument commercially available are ultrasound cleaner as we seen over here Ample of the studies have proven that ultrasound cleaner machine are good for laparoscopic instrument because it works on particular specific hertz like 60,000 hertz, 35,000 hertz where the principle is caviation and exposure. This instrument has a long capability of warming the water. So the, usually the water goes up to 35 to 60 cents Celsius and you can preset the temperature as well as vibration frequency and the duration. So usually my uh, choice is to soak this instrument in the water then put them in ultrasonic uh, cleaner for at least 30 minutes and you can uh, see the fine caviation once we start the machine. Once these instruments are clean, then we uh, keep it in a dry area as we can appreciate over here. All instruments are kept over here and we use the air blower. This is very very vital to clean this instrument with the air blower. The thing is that even though we have used the RO water, but if we do not dry, then there will be a salt and that salt later on create difficulty in instrument handling. So the best part of this air blower is that it does not keep any water inside the instrument channel and it can rapidly uh, dry up your uh, instrument very nicely. Once the instruments are dried up, we keep assemble them for TTO as we have fixed in this uh, bag and that bag has also a sensitivity for uh, how, how good it has been sterilized. So this is a marker for uh, a sterilization and once this pack is performed we keep in our ETO machine and then we keep it at least seven to eight hours for full sterility. Hope uh, you like this video and uh, can implement some of the things in your 